Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Unreal World Let's Play. So, I'm trying something different again. Hopefully the quality will be better, but fuck if I know. Is the game course thing finally popping up? Like I said last time, I was going to finish this house off screen, and I did. It's not too big. But, it's big enough. Now we need some more boards. I think that should be enough. I hope it will be. So yeah, new recording method again. This is one I tested the other day after recording the last episode and it mostly seems to work. But, well, We'll see. It worked when I was testing it. But as you've seen, that's not always reliable. So, sleeping bunk. And you don't really need a sleeping bunk, but I like having one. And I want a table up here in the other corner. So yeah, I don't know if the sleeping bunk even really helps you sleep, but I like having one. Makes me feel like I have a proper house. Don't need the boards. And I'll leave everything else there. So, the big issue I have with the recording method I'm trying today is that it actually requires me to sync my audio manually, which I'm not good at at all. Um, those of you who are around for Doom RL can attest to this. It's so many issues with the audio being out of sync in that LP. Lucky a lot. Luckily, a lot of the time, it wasn't really that noticeable just because oh yeah the season or the month changed so everything looks a bit different in that LP it wasn't that noticeable but in this one it probably will be if I don't get it right ooh tracks and they're fresh heading northwest so he was going this way Hmm. Doesn't seem like he stopped in any of our traps. Oh. Well, I missed a part of the fence. that here. Um, F left there. Okay. Well, that closes off that part of the fence at least. But it doesn't seem like he came through there at all. Looks like he came in from the east, got stuck and took off north. Completely avoiding the traps along the way, which is kind of annoying. Because yeah, these are heading east and then in the trees, yeah, we missed him. Oh well. Sorry, just checking the timing on these. Like I said, I have to record differently and 
the way I was recording, I could record my audio stream and video stream simultaneously and have it go to the same output file. But with the higher quality video, that caused a lot of lag and it caused it to drop frames and it ended up at like 10 frames per second or something like that in one of the tests, in one of the failed recordings yesterday. Okay, these are not going to be done for like a week. But I'm not getting any errors yet. Which I'm taking as a good sign. File sizes are getting pretty big, but oh well. I have room. It's like I'm going to keep the uncompressed files anyway. What was I going to do? I know there was something. Oh. Right, I need to make a club, I think. Not building. Weapon and club. Because I don't think I have one. And the nice thing about having a table is I can use that for tanning instead of this log that's been sitting here for who knows how long. So I'm just going to make that into blocks. One second. I already have to fix my headphones. Decent amount of firewood still. There's something else I needed to make, but I can't remember what. Well, I need skis before winter anyway. Animal hide. I need four pounds. Do I have four pounds of really bad quality hide? I do. I'm gonna use that ragged fox fur too. That's less useful. And yeah, these skews are going to be really bad quality, but I don't care, really. It's not that big a deal. Yeah, my file sizes are huge with this setup. Wow. It's starting to get darker now at night. Yeah, inferior skis, but oh well. That was the you wrap yourself in furs thing. I, know, I probably showed that off before, since I think I was doing it before, but if not, it's a nice way to stay warm during the winter. Especially at night. Only at night, rather. Stand on our spoiled meat and. One second. <laughs> Sorry about that. Been a little bit sick. So, if I have to stop to sneeze or cough or something, that would be why. Need ski sticks. Wait, those need leather? I didn't know that. Why do they need leather? Well, I guess we don't need ski sticks. You can use other things, but. I want to make sure I have these before winter. <laughs> there. It's not very good, but it'll do. Don't need 
need the shovel right now. I don't really need these wooden stakes either. I'm just going to toss them in the fire. It's like they aren't replaceable. How are these looking? Months, 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 months. Okay, so nothing from those for a while still. So. I'd like to get another large animal, to be honest, and then go do our companion quest. Um, no, that's a wolf. Fuck that. Wolves on their own aren't really that dangerous, but they're almost never on their own. Very rare you find a wolf on its own, and if you attack a wolf that you think is on its own, most of the time its friends will come out of the woods and eat you. Because, you know, that's how wolves work. In game and in real life. <laughs> I managed to get one in a trap, though. It's not so bad, because usually its friends will abandon it. Which is really sad. And I didn't see anything big. Except for that wolf, which I am not fucking with right now. I don't really need to light a fire yet. Not like we're cold. This field out here is a good place to look for animals, though. It's nice and open. You can see for a long distance. Yup, if I paid attention, because I thought I just saw something there, but apparently not. I haven't really gone out in this direction very far. I wonder what's up here. The um sieves. So the seal tribe is way up in the north. But I don't think we're going to be visiting them anytime soon. Some foreign traders. Nirbez warrior shaped figure. It's a very specific shape, I think. I find it kind of odd that you can tell the faction from this sort of distance. Like, that's a really long way to be able to tell exactly what tribe that guy is from. Anyway, I don't want to fuck with him right now. He's minding his own business, as far as I can tell. If you're a hunter, I might attack him, try and get some of his stuff, but... Warrior is just high risk, low reward, basically. It'll 
have some good weapons, probably. He'll have some good weapons, I mean, but... Like, honestly, I'm... Not really going to be proficient with most of them anyway, so... No big deal. We're pretty far from home, I think. Ah, escapes. Let's go and take the shot while I'm here. <laughs> Dies in an instant. Wow. Lucky fucking shot. What is our archery skill? Okay. Could not do that again if I wanted to. Fucking hell. Sorry, dude. I was escaping, too. I wasn't even expecting to hit it. I was just taking a shot on the off chance that I got it in the leg or something. Holy shit. Wow. See, now I need to upload this whether or not I have... Sorry. Just checking to make sure the file sizes aren't getting too out of control. And a decent skin for it. Wow, that was pretty ridiculous. Holy shit. That wasn't even with a good arrow. Damn! Ooh, it was a big one. there. This a young tree? Yeah. surprised I got that shot. Holy shit. See, now I'm going to be really annoyed if this episode can't go up for whatever reason. fire. And I'll just roast these. far from home, I don't think. <coughs> okay, we kind of are, but... How much can I carry? I 
to carry as much of it as I can just in case I lose this. So I'm picking up it like one at a time, basically. Wow, we can carry a lot. Still amazed we got that shot. Holy shit. Vagabond Hunter? Oh, no, it's from the Kama? How the fuck? Aren't they all the way over here? Yeah, he's from here. What the fuck are you doing out here, friend? Whatever. One nice thing about hunting in winter, if I ever get to show it, is um, meat actually doesn't spoil as quickly if you leave it out in the snow. So I'm going to start working on the side while we're here. By the time we get back with the meat, the first stage of tanning should be done. I wonder what that, cow what that uh, Calmo guy is doing all the way out here, though. That's kind of suspicious. He's way out of the way. That's why I was expecting him to be a vagabond. There's nobody really around here. right now. We have plenty of food. Uh, pine Martin. Nope. Pine Martins are just these like small cute weasel looking things, basically. Squirrel. I probably don't need to tell you what a squirrel is. I actually have squirrels in my yard right now that are getting really friendly. I've been feeding them. as much food as I could possibly carry. Oh, woodsman. Where are you? Can't see a woodsman. Hmm. Apparently there isn't a woodsman. Phantom woodsman. Gotcha. It's kinda creepy. these for now. Eat. Drink. Pass out. Now 
rinse this and go hang those cats. I thought there was more than that. I didn't mean to pick it up, I meant to drag it. Like so. Make the fucking fire, thank you. Cook smoke. I'm gonna have to get into my like good cords, I think. I don't wanna risk it spoiling to pick up the other ones or to make other ones rather, I think I'm out of inferior cord. So. Same old process. This time with another 300 pounds or so. It's ridiculous. How did I kill a 300 pound stag with one shot? I actually ran out of cord anyway. Mm. What? 8 times 2 is 16, so yeah, I'm gonna be just a little bit shy, I think. Just roast the rest and eat it. It's not that big of a deal. As long as there's no more than like 20 left over. If there is, then I should make some more cord. And it looks like that's going to be the case. But I don't need a lot of cord. And we have enough hanging now that even if some of it spoils, I'm not too concerned. making two pieces of cord. I should sleep, but I want to make sure I don't lose any of this. I don't think I have any more... no. Any more, um, hide from that boar is what I was thinking. Then once this is done, we're probably gonna pass out. Not really much.
much to say about this. We're just waiting on this to finish. And then I think that's going to be the episode. Because we're at about half an hour. And I think we did pretty well this episode. We one-shotted a 300 fucking pound stag. I really couldn't expect anything better to happen. And then I need to figure out how to multiplex this. Which is sync the audio and video streams into one. Aw. We've ruined the hide, of course. Oh well. Not too concerned about that. Hopefully this recording method worked out as well as it did when I was testing. Okay. Oh. See you next time, guys.